CataractCoach.com, the capsule is split wide open. That's the Argentinian flag sign. What are we going to do now? Our guest surgeon is Dr. Gary Wartz from Kentucky, that's here in the USA, and he has a patient with an intumescent white cataract. So he's instilling tripan blue dye inside the eye, filling it up with viscoelastic, and now you can see that really is a very opaque white cataract. The tripan blue dye, of course, is essential here in staining that. And the catch here is that if the pressure in the capsular bag is higher than that of the anterior chamber, you can get the capsule to split. Watch carefully. Just as he starts, that posterior pressure from the lens is going to push upwards and it's already starting to radialize. He'll put more viscoelastic to try to tamponade it, but it's too late. There it goes. Now it's split completely, equator to equator right across. So what's your next step? Notice how Dr. Wartz doesn't skip a move. He just continues. Now, why do a capsular opening like this with the can opener technique? The answer is it creates many different points where stress can be released. If you try to do just a capsular rexus type opening, and you have these two large areas where it radialized to the zonules, manipulation in the bag can lead to a ripping of the capsule back towards the posterior capsule. And you can have a wide open capsular bag and displacement of the lens nucleus into the vitreous cavity. It can be bad. So by having this can opener technique, he's able to help distribute those forces more evenly. So doing a stop and chop technique, grooving, getting the nucleus split. Notice how he's very gentle. He doesn't do a forceful split of the nucleus. That's a very important move. A forceful split there of the nucleus may put enough stress to cause that rip in the capsule to extend all the way posterior, and that could damage the posterior capsule. So the goal here is to keep that posterior capsule intact, of course. Here's the second half of the nucleus. It can be chopped and brought up to the iris plane and wolfed down. The key here is to stay calm, stay focused, not skip a step, and just get through the rest of the case. Now you may ask yourself, what about these loose ends here from the can opener capsulotomy? If there are any that come in the visual axis, we can of course um, break those off now, intraoperatively, you can always yag them later. But do keep in mind, prior to the advent of the capsular axis, doing a Christmas tree type capsulotomy or a can opener capsulotomy, these were the standard of care. This is what was done normally. So this patient will have a beautiful outcome. And of course, starting off with such a terrible cataract, so opaque, this will be a huge improvement for the patient. So now, importantly, filling the capsular bag prior to removing the phaco probe. Why is that? Well, we, he doesn't want to flatten out the anterior chamber. Because if you flatten out the anterior chamber, that could allow stress to cause that capsular rip to go all the way back to the posterior capsule. So now what do you do? I think we're just going to put in the IOL. Now, what kind of IOL would you put in? A single-piece lens, a three-piece lens? And the answer is I think you can do either. Here's the surgeon putting in a single-piece acrylic lens. You just have to be careful to not exert forces on that capsule. So putting that lens in here. If you did put a three-piece lens in, you may have more options for placement. If the capsule got damaged as you're placing it, you could dial a three-piece lens into the sulcus. With a single-piece lens like this, you really have to make sure it goes in the capsule bag. And that's, of course, what we see here. The rest of the case can be finished pretty normally. I would uh, agree that if there's any little bit of opacity left on the posterior capsule, I wouldn't worry. That can be zapped later with a YAG laser. So YAG laser capsulotomy later. This acrylic single piece lens looks very well centered now. Time to remove the viscoelastic and finish up the case. So now you see, you can have an Argentinian flag sign, and that's due to high pressure in the caps or bag causing that force. And if it does split like that, a can opener capsulotomy for the remainder of the anterior lens capsule is helpful because that'll help distribute the forces. And then when it comes time for putting an IOL, you can do a single piece acrylic like this or put a three piece in the bag and or sulcus. Thank you guys for watching.